Hi everyone. So today we are doing uh, No Paper Left Behind for the last day in June. It was started by Daniela Hayes. So if you want, you can check out other, all the other lovely ladies who did this this month too. Um, this was my first time doing it. It's the end of the month. Um, this was the paper pack I had selected. It has over 180 sheets. As you can see, there is quite a lot left. And let me show you what I did. I made some envelopes first. These ones were all kind of like the wrong size. And then I marked them at two and three eighths. And I made all of these ones. There, I'm sure there's well over a 40 or so. Yeah, there's 42 envelopes here at least. Okay, so I'll spread those out. So you can get some idea what they look like. There's two of some. There's one of others. And I just tried to do it kind of random to kind of go with the cards. So there's all those lovelies. And then these are the cards here. And I did, did them in kind of two different sizes. So the first size is, um, you know, just your basic, um, sorry. And some of these are repeats where they just open up like this. I didn't put anything inside of them yet. And the back is like that. So we've got one like that. Well, actually three like that. And then we have three like this one. And then we have some like this one and in some that it covers the back and some it just covers it partially <clears throat> we have that one now and then we have like kind of this fun alphabet one and I just kind of folded it over and some look better than others like that and I just use wet glue and then this one phase says I'm um, thinking happy thoughts opens up like that like I said there's three of each different kind that I made up and then this one's kind of a little bit plainer it's just the yellow and it's the front and back so you could use either one three of that one also and then this one is really, these ones are really cute too. It says, um, happiness is good. Like this. So instead of opening up like this, it opens like this, of course. And I've got three of those, of course. And then these ones are like your tent folds. So it opens up like, starts like this and it opens up like that. I didn't put anything inside yet. I will probably do that for do that later, probably do that next month. And then these ones open up like like this. So they're the tent fold, but they're this direction. And I've got three of that one also. And then this one's kind of a plain one. It's just a yellow one. And it will it can open up like this or the other way. So I'm thinking this way I'll open it. Just some plain yellow ones with some little, almost like white dots, but not quite. And then these cute little flower ones that will open up like, like this. Okay. Now we're almost done with these. And then this one, so it's got that pretty border on the bottom. And it opens up like the tent fold, of course. And then I have these adorable little owls in the tree in the sky and the trees underneath it. And that one will open up like this. Another tent fold. You got three of those, of course. And then this one is another tent fold. And I don't really need to show you how it opens. You know how it opens. Three of those. Um, so I do have some scraps. Oh, and then I also have these that I showed you before that I have cut out. 
And so I'll probably put those on the card also. And then I have some strips. See some strips in there that I could also use on the inside. And this is some of the cutouts from um, the corner rounder in there. So I'll probably find a way to use those. <coughs> so that's basically, oh, and I wanted to show you the paper I started from. So I marked it, so like this marking right here, it goes down to here and then you cut it there. And then the, the other one goes from this way and then up here. Okay, and so those are my cards slash envelopes that I made for the no paper left behind for June. Um, so I thought I would tell you something that I learned through this whole process. The first thing that I learned is don't don't use a paper pack that has too many papers because you might become bored with it. It might become kind of stressful because I noticed this was. Um, so next time, not not next month, but next time after that, I'll probably pick something a little bit smaller that's more manageable. Um, one thing I did realize about doing this, though, another thing was um, with making all these envelopes. If you make them all together, it seems to go along a lot quicker. Um, and then I just glued it. And then some of these, when I hold this back, I glued it. And other times I just folded it back and it's fine either way. Um, but I learned it's kind of fun to make a lot of envelopes at the same time. That's kind of a fun thing to do, to make envelopes. So for next month, I am probably going to hopefully finish off using this paper paper pack. I'm going to add some stuff inside to the cards, maybe some stuff outside, and then include these and also include the, um, the strips of paper that are in there in creative ways. So if you like this kind of video, please like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to hear from anybody. And as always, have a lovely day and you are so kind. And please go check out the other ladies, ladies who did no paper left behind. I'm sure what they did is much, much nicer than what I did. But go check them out. Thank you. Bye. You are so kind.